We have had uh, several discussions with all of the platforms to varying degrees um, of success, I would say, in terms of how they plan to protect uh, Canadians and our electoral process in the upcoming election. And um, we have not really seen that much progress um, with them. I think that the platforms feel that this is something that they should be doing um, on their own. And I don't have um, the confidence that they are disclosing everything um, with us. Um, and I think that, you know, from experiences that we've seen around the world, um, that there's a, a lot left to be desired in terms of how seriously they're taking these issues. Um, and, uh, you know, we continue to engage with them and continue to have conversations. But, um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not feeling great about where we are right now. We are looking at what has already happened around the world. So, you know, in the EU, um, with their code of practice, with GDPR, the UK's white paper today and the concept of the duty of care is very interesting. Australia has come out recently with legislation that would hold social media executives to account for activities that take place on their platform. Uh, there are a number of things that are ongoing, but what is most important um, for me is to think about a regulatory framework that would apply into the future because what we don't want is to regulate and legislate for something of the past and not be looking forwards. And I think that what is, um, what is clear to me and clear to the government is that um, technology is changing very rapidly. Um, and uh, the platforms are and have been able to uh, avoid being held to account for the activities that take place on their platforms for too long. And so how do we ensure and develop something that will um, stand the test of time moving forward?